More than 200 warrior athletes from across the Army competed in the annual Combatives Invitational Tournament. Our Ron Andrus was there and shows us how what happens on the mats can translate to the battlefield. Ladies and gentlemen, 2007 Army Combatives Invitational Championship. The 2007 Army Combatives Invitational was held at the new Paul R. Smith Fitness Center here in Fort Benning on October 13th and 14th. Army Combatives teams came from all over the world this year to compete. We've got teams coming from Korea and Germany, even the Romanian National Guard sent a full team. Modern Army Combatives Director Matt Larson says that even though there are fewer troops available due to the surge, these soldiers' combative skills are a lot higher and are getting better every year. We have to do two things. First, teach them the skills, which is what you're seeing here. And the second thing is put it in the context of their mission. So that's the training you do in your unit after you've developed the skills. I caught up with Staff Sergeant Marcos Gutierrez from the Fort Benning team to find out just what the combatives experience was all about. I think this is an opportunity to really push organizations, both, both the small unit organizations and the post, to continue their combatives program. You know that. And I would just hope that all commanders across the board see the effectiveness of the training and show that, that it really is truly excellent training. These fighters tell me that this competition is invaluable hands-on training that translates directly to the battlefield. I've been to Iraq twice and I've used combatives. Both times I've been there, I've had to use Army combatives, both in positioning, you know, either I'm detaining an insurgent, you know, unruly detainees, I've had to use, you know, different combative techniques on them, and also training the Iraqi police, training them how to use this as an effective tool. You know, the old days of, of judo chopping and, you know, throwing people down, it doesn't work anymore. When people fight back, it's a little bit harder. So you use these, you know, this methodology of instructing and teaching that really translates very well to the battlefield. Every fight on the battlefield is a grappling fight. There's got to be some reason why somebody's not shooting somebody, and that's why they're grabbing them. So it's always grappling. You know, sometimes being down range, you just can't use a weapon. You really got to focus on what you can do with your hands. And at the end of the day, these competitors are all on the same team, and this training could save their lives on the battlefield. Yeah, you might be punching that guy in the face. But that's the same guy that's next to you when you go down range, you know, to Iraq or Afghanistan. Ron Andrus, USAC TV. There were seven weight categories at this year's Combatives Tournament. Congratulations to Fort Benning Staff Sergeants Nicholas Beal and Marcos Gutierrez and Sergeant Aaron Cooper for placing in the flyweight, welterweight, and middleweight categories.